Hello and welcome to the class. Today we will deal with prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes and suffixes are called affixes and they are elements added to existing words to form new words. The process of adding affixes is called affixation and the words to which these elements are added are called root words. A few examples are given here. Prefixes re plus write, rewrite, in plus capable, incapable, un plus acceptable, unacceptable, read plus ing, reading, nation plus al, national, modern plus it, ity gives modernity. So now here we have a table where we have prefix, their meaning with examples. So pre means before, prelude, precondition, un means not, dis means not, re means again, miss means not or wrongly, in or im also means not, by means to, like bicycle or biannual, inter means between, super means above, sub means under, anti means opposing or opposite. Here we have a table with suffixes and their meaning. ER means comparative. We use it while we compare. And ER also means the doer, worker, driver, etc. ABLE can be done, doable, usable. OUS means full of, joyous, famous. Then NESS means state of being, kindness, full, full of, ly in the stated way, mend means state of, ed means past tense of, verbs like hope. Small changes in spelling are to be carried out while adding some suffixes like for example fame plus ous is famous, fame plus ous gives fanous. Happy plus ness gives happiness, H-A-P-P-I-N-E-S-S. -S. Y changes to I. Justify plus cation is justification. Torture plus O-U-S gives torturous, the E is omitted. Sacrifice plus A-L gives sacrificial. And confuse plus I-O-N gives confusion, the E is again omitted. Now we have task 4. Change the grammatical category of words in column A using an appropriate suffix from the box below. So we they are given a set of suffixes in the box. We have to use them to fill column C. So column A we have the word, column B we have the grammatical category mentioned and column C the new word. So the first one is done for you. It is solid. You have to make it into a verb to get solidified. Next you have move. You have to make it into an adjective. It is movable or moving. Crystal. You have to make it into a verb. It is crystallized. Magnet. You have to make it into adjective. Magnetic. National. You have to make it into a noun. Nationality. Deliver, you have to make it into a noun. It can be delivery or deliverance. So we'll continue with that. We have a few more words there. Advertise, you have to make it into a noun. Advertisement. Space, adjective. You can say spacious. Fright, you have to make it into a verb. Frightened. Assess, you have to make it into a noun. And you get the new word as assessment. So again, you have task 5. Task 5. Add suitable affixes to form what is indicated within the brackets. One has been done for you. The first one is adequate. You have to make it into an antonym. So how do you make it? In plus adequate, you get inadequate, which is the antonym of adequate. Palatable. Antonym, unpalatable. Suffocate, I have to make it into a noun. Suffocation. Attract, adjective. Attractive. 
additional you have to make it into an adverb additionally active activate you have to make it into a noun activation capable into a noun you get capability logical you get you have to make it into a you have to get the opposite of the word logical and that is illogical you have to add a prefix to it i l l o g i c a l illogical next torrent into an adjective we get torrential and corrode into an adjective we get corrosive so with these exercises we come to the end of the vocabulary section in the next video we'll be dealing with grammar thank you